So I told you guys that I was gonna come back and show you guys um, that I got meat, guys. Cause I know a lot of people see my hauls and they, they say, "What is the meat?" Um, I buy meat. Uh, I have like uh, this for you. And throughout the haul, you'll see the different meat that I buy, like hamburger meat and stuff. So y'all buy the big tube of hamburger meat. And that lasts, most of the time, it lasts the whole month. And I just break the meat down. Sorry, my son is on my back, y'all. I'm just breaking the meat down in like bags. I probably can show you another video on how I do that, guys, because I don't want to put the whole bag of meat in here or put like a whole tray of meat in here. That's the, the only reason why I have this tray of meat in here because I'm making these. Today I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna make these today or either make them tomorrow with some and make it like a fixing pot with like these shrimp and stuff. Anyways, um, it should be a haul after this clip, guys. So today we are learning about fire safety, guys. And I'm gonna have the kids tell me what, um, at when, they, when we get done with this whole class, I'm gonna have them like give me a recap of all the things they remember about the fire safety le lesson. Um, and we're gonna learn some other things too, besides the stuff we learned in homeschool. That's why I love doing homeschool because we can like expand it and do whatever we want. Like you can do whatever you want with your kids, you know, on your time. All right, guys. So we gotta. A Walmart haul, guys. It's only like 20 something items, guys. So bear with me. Um, we have two boxes of Kleenex, uh, some Fabuloso, two boxes of Scotty tissue, Kleenex, I mean. I have some white um, forks and spoons, 60 each. I have this common sea, sea spray and breeze. Uh, Airwick, 
I have this Irish Spring four pack. I got some more. I got two eight packs coming tomorrow because I like to stay stocked on soaps. I don't like to run out of soaps. I have this Ultra Max um, double pack of Arm & Hammer deodorant. I have this Arm & Hammer Ultra Max unscented deodorant, two, two deodorants. So it's like four and all. I'd like to make sure we have a lot of that. I have this um, Hit the Trail candle. Y'all excuse that in the background, guys. I have this um, World's Best Glass cleaner. cleaner. I like this glass cleaner, guys. I've been liking this ever since I tried it. So this is the value pack right here, guys. It came with two. I got this Gain um, dish detergent, y'all. Excuse me, dish is in the sink in the background. I have this this other Gain. Oh, excuse me, dish detergent. This is the original scent. And this is the Honeyberry Hulu. And then I have this Walmart Great Value Lemon uh, All Purpose Cleaner. I like this to like clean the counters off and even the walls too. And that's it for this haul, guys. All right, guys. We have some two 24-pack of chicken ramen noodles. We have some Roku remotes. We have a 24-pack of batteries. And we have two of these Lysol multi-surface cleaner. All right, guys, so we're gonna start over here. We got some Wonder Bread buns, um, these hamburger buns. We got some Great Value hot dog buns. We have some Great Value mis uh, instant mashed potatoes. We have two 16 count of corn dogs. We have a party size of these barbecue chips, five pound bag of potatoes, two, um, how many pounds are these? Two five pound bags of flour, uh, fruit punch. We have two of these, and they made it, they um did the um the carton over. They redid the carton. I noticed that. We have two strawberry lemonades. We have some cucumbers. These are good for a snack. You can put them in salad, guys. You just eat it by itself. They are good. Um, I eat them with. I cut them up and eat them with ranch. And sometimes, you know, I do the old school thing with the um with the vinegar and stuff. Those who know know. Um, this lettuce looks like it is messed up, so I'm gonna write them and let them know about this lettuce. That lettuce, this lettuce looks a little spoiled. I gotta hear it from cook this lettuce. I mean, make this lettuce because it's, it's messed up. I got this regular popcorn chicken. I have this orange glaze chicken. I have the Simply um, Lemonade. We have some um, stew, stew meat, some ribs. I got two, actually got two packs of ribs, beef ribs. I have two of these um, turkey sausages. I have all kind of different Kool-Aids. They got chips on the counter already. Cause I got kids chips. We got salt and vinegar. We have two of those and two of these sour cream and cheddar. We have some great value cheese as well. And also, we have this 10 pound loaf of uh, ground beef. And y'all, it has went up. It used to be $20 and something. Now it's like $31. This thing is, oh gosh. Yeah, but it lasts the whole month, so that's why I like to get it because it, it show it will last the whole month. So, anyways, um, that's uh, I'm going to uh, I'm to my that's it. I'm going to put this stuff up and then I'm going to come back with the rest of it. All right, so I'm telling you guys, I got two loaves of great value bread because I'm not going to show that because I got it all the way on the other side of the kitchen. All right, so we're gonna start right here. We have red onion. 
We have a tomato. Um, we have a bag of yellow onions. We got some cornstarch. I love to have my cornstarch for my gravies and stuff. Um, we got vegetable oil. We have the Salisbury steak with brown gravy. These are made for the nights when I don't feel like cooking. I have to make two packs at a time because my kids eat a lot. Keep in mind, I have most mostly boys. I have one daughter, so she doesn't eat as much as the boys. The boys eat a lot. So I have to make sure I have way more than enough of them. Um, I have the other, this the other rack of beef ribs. Guys, this is what it looks like. We have two 12 packs of burger patties. And I know I can make it out of the um ground beef, but I do homeschool homeschooling and I'm busy with the kids all the time, so I don't always have time to make a homemade burger. Because I got something to make homemade burgers with. Um I have French onion dip. Um simply lemonade, that's another one because uh, their dad had put some like Kool-Aid inside of the Simple Lemonade. I do it on a short guys so you guys can see. Um, and I also seen it on um, Bobby Jean's channel. That's why I seen it first. Anyways, um, I have four of these brownie served turkey sausage links. I have this extra butter popcorn. I have this honey barbecue sauce. I have butter flavored spray. I have tater tots. Um, I don't remember getting crinkle fries. I thought that I got like the straight fries. And I buy potatoes and fries because sometimes I feel like making fries and sometimes I don't. So that's why that goes. Oh, kick it in with the grants. I got to go and watch um, her um, video when I get done. Um, yes, but I got two two pounds of crinkle fries, and that's it for this haul, guys. I'm gonna put this um, Kool Aid packet inside this simply lemonade. I got this cherry, cherry lemonade. I mean, cherry um, Kool Aid. I'm gonna put it inside this simply. Simply super. I want to shake it, Mom. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna shake it up. Hold up, son. Hold up. Oh, Aaron got to us. Aaron got to us. It's Aaron inside, Lon. Look who's teeth is coming out. Sure. Oh, that camera was like not focused. <laughs> 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 they just had a good old time right now. <laughs> <laughs> now they got to do it. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, what was that? What was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How it tastes? Good. Good, good. Dad. All right, so I'm about to clean this oven. I just got finished cooking, so don't come for me, guys. So <coughs> that's why I got like the stains and stuff in there. But I'm about to clean this oven. I use, I'm using this easy off spray, guys. Deep clean, guys. And I'm gonna let it just sit for like a couple of minutes. Some people let it sit for hours, and not me, because I got to cook in a little while, so I got to make sure it sits for a little while. I can't let it sit too long, but I spread all over this, and then I'm going to pick this up. Um, I'm going to pick this up. That's my son in the background. Y'all already know the deal about Anthony. Um, I'm gonna spray this under here. Then I'm about to clean my oven out. All right, cause I can't stand this darkness and all this in here. So I'm gonna clean this. Spray all in here. Because I want to get all the black spots out that I can. 
I probably won't be able to get all of them out, but I'm going to try to get close to it. And I'm going to let this soak for a little bit. This stuff is kind of strong, too. I usually get the fume, the, the fume free kind. I'm going to put these racks in the, um, in the sink and clean them out. I usually get the fume free kind, so it's not, it's like make you cough and all that. But it's different techniques to clean your oven with. Some people clean the oven with vinegar and stuff. With um, Dawn dish detergent and all that. It's different techniques. Comment down below what technique do you, do you use to clean your oven? i like to know. Because I tried them out too. I'm going to spray the back as well, y'all. And I'm going to come back when it's clean, guys. Because I don't want to film all that cup. That process, I'm going to come back when, I have, when I'm wiping the stuff off and cleaning it off. And then I'm going to spray right here as well. Because I want to clean the outside too. I mean, I'm really going to deep clean this this thing for real for real all right so i got a new one of these guys um what are these things called like a burner and i got this whole set i should have got the black ones when i think about it i wish i would have got the black instead of the silver because the silver mess up before a lot faster than the black. So I wish I would've got that. I know the next time to get the black, not the silver. Cause I was talking to my friend Gail about this earlier. And I'm mad because I should've, <laughs> I should've got the darn black, but it's okay. This, this is what we're gonna use. After I get finished cleaning the oven, we're gonna put fresh um, eyes on it. So this closet, it's, this stuff is all over the place. So I'm about to clean this closet out because it is a whole entire mess. Um, some days I just don't have time to clean this thing out, but I'm going to clean it out today because I want to start the, the week off fresh. I want to just start off fresh um, this week. Just start with the, the week off with a clean house because Sunday starts is the beginning of the week. So that's what I just want to just, okay. I just want to just start off fresh and have everything together. So while the oven is, I got the oven, like the stuff soaking on the oven, I'm going to clean this closet out, guys. So I'm about to take everything out this closet. All right, guys. So this is the after. Let me move back some so you guys can see. I got everything up here. This is like mostly like dishwashing stuff. That's the dishwasher. That's for the um, dishwasher. And ever since I moved here, I don't think the dishwasher wash works um i don't know or the um garbage disposal so i don't know so i just never used that stuff anyways i wasn't gonna really use that stuff anyways probably i would have probably used the dishwasher but the garbage disposal i was going to not use that anyways because i feel like like dish though dishwasher and stuff like that that would run up your bill or something i don't know comment down below if you think that's true or not anyways i got like all the um dryer sheets over here i like to have a lot of soap stocked up and dish detergent and i just um got these from amazon i got a double pack of these from amazon i love the eucalyptus plant i hope i'm saying it right i just love the smell of it it's like a minty smell i love it i love anything oxyclean i love tide guys i'm still i'm still cleaning this closet out guys so bear with me i have tissue right here and i have all my other kind of you know napkins and stuff excuse me Aaron. Aaron. Let me get by you. it's okay i got these flushable wipes these all these and i am washing towels right now guys yeah. and i got like my move your little feet baby i got my um laundry <laughs> detergent down here my carpet cleaner um and y'all, I'm still cleaning this closet, so don't don't, God, don't do me like that. And I got some comment down here, so that's what it's looking like right now. 
Just trying to get it. My house in order, guys. Yeah. Trying to get it in order. The video. All right, guys. So sorry I wasn't able to come back, but I cleaned the stove top. And this part, this thing won't come out. I got to find a way to get it out. And I'm going to still clean this part out right here. I got something that I can clean the little cracks out with. Anyways, this is what it's looking like, guys. I put the brand new eyes in there and stuff. And they all work good. I'm turning them all on to see how they work. But everything should be good right now. I'm about to clean the oven out, guys. And that's going to be next. I think this got to be a paint thing. I don't know. Because when I first got this apartment, you probably can go back and look on the um, house tour. This part was like this. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but not gonna look too deep into it, but I'm about to clean this oven out, guys. All right, guys, so I gotta get another can of oven spray. Point blank period, because um, I don't know if you guys see these black marks right here. I'm gonna scrape this, try to scrape this off some more tonight. When the kids go to bed, because I can clean a lot more and a lot better when the kids go to bed. What in the world is that? And I'm going to clean that a lot more. But this is the after, guys. I cleaned the racks. Didn't have any residue on the racks, guys. And I'm going to probably come back in another video and just show y'all how it looks in another video. All right, guys. So you have reached the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I'm doing my vlog tour a lot different, guys. Um, I'm going to do like seven or eight days at a time with my vlog tour because I don't have much time to like film during the week because I'm doing homeschool and I would like to put out a vlog every day, but that's just not realistic for me right now. Um, I would like to do a lot more um vlogging and have a lot more footage but at this time i just can't do it but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog even though it probably was all over the place um but i still wanted to put something out for you guys because it's been like two weeks since almost three weeks since i put a video out and i don't want to like ever go that long but what um out putting out a video for you guys and not putting anything out for you guys because i truly appreciate each and every one of you guys who are subscribed to my channel and everybody that supports me and shares my videos out and just loves on me and just shows so much love to my channel um it's one thing i wanted to address um in the video that i did uh a couple of i think it was the last month when i was talking about like all my accomplishments and stuff that i have accomplished um as far as like getting my high school diploma getting my um my college diploma with medical building and coding and when you go back in the chat if you go back to the end of the chat in that video somebody asked me they said you accomplished all those things and it's really good that you accomplished those things but i'll be glad when you accomplished um getting married and my thing was I laughed about it, and then I kind of like was like, okay, they don't have anything to do with my video that I put out. And my thing is, I want to encourage anybody that's watching my video, don't let anybody make you feel pressured because of social media and what you see on social media, because everything you see on social media is not um, what it's filled out to be. Okay. Because a lot of these people that are in relationships on social media and putting their stuff out on social media, um, it's not what you think it is. And I feel like this, whenever God is ready for me to take that step in my life, I may film it, I may not film it. And whoever God brings into my life that wants to take that extra step, an extra mile, I thank God for them in advance. But right now, is marriage is not nothing that I'm really concerned about. I'm concerned about being whole and happy with myself and 
like taking care of myself so I can be a good partner to that person that God wants me to marry. So that I hope that answers your question and for the person who put that <laughs> comment at the end of my video. Anyways, I be I'm so glad that you guys stopped to watch my video and I appreciate you guys and I see you next vlog. Love you guys.